Now when creating your own sprites, it pays to really think in simple shapes. Now we're trying to create a top-down view of a ballroom, which we've done, and we're trying to create a top-down view of a dancer, which could be very difficult. So let's have a look at what we can do in Scratch to make that happen. We're gonna click on create, choose a new sprite, and we're gonna click on the paint option. So we're going to make a sprite dancer with just two shapes. Let me show you how we're gonna do that. We're going, well, one shape, just edit it. So we're gonna drag a circle out, and put it in the center here, and we're going to click on here. And so this is gonna be the body of my male dancer. So let's have a black outline, yes, and let's make him wear something black, or, or it's a bit slightly. Let's change the color of his jacket. Because we're looking at the top down, we'll make it a slight color like that, that's fine. Now we need to edit this slightly and we're going to use the, so I clicked on the edit function here and we're just going to drag these in slightly to make our, our dancer look a bit more like a, a human. So if we click on here and we can stretch these pins out and we can bring these in like this. Our shoulders a bit more pointed. Just drag these little pins in until you think you've got what something that looks like a human. It doesn't look like a human at the moment, I, I agree, but we can just fiddle about with this. And you just click on these pins until you get something that approximates to what you think it should look like. There we go. In fact, what I might do is I might make this more of a forward facing and make this a bit shorter here to look more like a back. There we go. So now there's the body of my male dancer. So now I need to make a circle. I'm gonna click on here, make a circle. That's his head. Put it over his body. Yeah, perhaps a bit smaller. And we'll copy that, make two of those. It's important they need to be the same size. So let's set the skin tone. So obviously not gonna be green. Come over here, drag this along over here. Getting, this, getting the skin tone right is quite challenging. So I use the pale slider up to about here. That will do. And so there is, and where, where you put your body. So yeah, I think my dancer is going to be facing towards the left. I think that looks better. There we go. So there's my dancer. And now we're going to make th this into his hair. So let's choose some hair color. So let's come up to here again. And we could choose yellow hair, but not on that background, I don't want to do that. So let's just come more to perhaps more brown or black. Black's probably too strong. Come more this way then. There we go. So there's his hair. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put his wig on. There we go. And we're going to use this and we can click on here and use this tool here to make it pointed. And we can pull it in like that and make it look like a parting. And now we can pull this like that and pull this like that. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's put that on here. Mm, perhaps it's a bit too severe, that parting. So we can give him a bit more like that. And we can pull this a bit more like that. So you can just fiddle around and then you can give your, your dancer some ears by just simply pulling this in a little bit. And if you can see a little bit of skin underneath, you've given your dancer some ears. There we go. And we can just fiddle with this a little bit more if you wanted to, just to give the sense of, there we go. And now that looks like a person from above. We, we haven't gone to lots of details, no eyes, no eyebrows, no noses or anything like that. 
And obviously on the stage here, he's very big. And what we can do now is we can use the scale function here. Let's make him 50%. And so now our dancer, what we should do also is group this together. There we go. Yep, it's all, he's all grouped. And so now we can, when we move him around the stage, he's all in one place. So now we've made our male dancer. We can do the same thing with our um, female dancer. We'll do that next. Right, so we use the same method to make our female dancer. So we click on here, new sprite. And this time we're going to use a circle again. This time we're going to build, we're going to use a few more circles. We need to create the, uh, an impression of a dress or a skirt, I guess. Um, so let's choose a colour of um, something that's not going to clash the yellow or the green. So let's let's make something sort of purpley like that. That'll do. So first of all, let's make uh, a dress. Oh, that's a bit bit severe. I don't like that. Let's change that colour. That's horrible. Let's. Let's bring this down to here, mm, a bit pinky, it's a bit girly, isn't it? Let's make it a bit more salmon pinky, there we go. All right, so this is gonna be the dress. Oops. And we now need to create another circle that is gonna be the body before we put the head on. So what we're gonna do here is create a body Make that sure that's in the center. Again, choose some flesh tones. So let's go up over to here somewhere. Flesh tones are quite difficult to do. We want to see some shoulders here. So there we go, let's make it like that. And let's, um, let's edit this like we did it before. So click on this circle here, click on this. We can zoom in a little bit now, make those shoulders narrower. And make the body narrower as well. We can stretch this to sort of give a bit of definition to the back. There, all right, so there's the body of our dancer. Doesn't look like a body yet. But what we've got to do now is we've got to make some straps to go over the shoulder to hold this, this dress up. So what we're going to do here is have no outline and we're going to use this tool here to pick the same color. And we're just simply going to make two small squares like this. And we can put those over here like that. And we'll copy that and paste that. go so that now looks like some kind of a strap and we could still fiddle about if we wanted to with this and make this a bit a bit more refined and now we can come zoom out and we can make our circle like we did before that's good and is that too big for our head yes yeah, probably a little bit Bit small so we can see those straps we can always move those a bit later there we go in fact why don't we do that and then copy copy that and we can fill that with a different hair color so let's go more more brown this time shall we yep and the same as we did last time what we're going to do here is we're going to select on this we're going to edit this and this time rather than move this to one side we're going to make it more central pull this forward like this a little bit so it's a center parting just to zoom in a little bit and not really doing anything with this edit other than just trying to make everything look so it might be uh, a hair. 
style. So let's just drag this one back a bit here, over here. Keep going forward. There, we can make it a bit wider at the back. So it's more of a, a bun possibly. And we can, again, drag this a little bit so you can see a little bit of the corner. So we see some ears. Drag it like that. And minus. And there's our dancer, our lady dancer. Again, same thing, we can scale her. Oops. And now we have two dancers. Now this person, this dancer needs to change direction. There they are, we can do it in here. Or what we can do is we can just do it inside the um, program here, so we'll just select, we're going to group, and then we're going to flip horizontal, well, there we go, and she flips back the other way. And so now, as a partner, she's in place with this guy here, might make her a bit smaller. And that's how you make your dancers in your ballroom.